Hi there, my name is Ben Conway and I am the pastor of Tree of Life Church in Dagenham, Essex and also the founder of Tree of Life Family, a growing network of growing churches. And uh, we're here because I want you to start your day with wisdom, just a short message to give you some wisdom. Uh, the last program I did, we, we looked at honour and the power of honour. And I just want to say this to you, um, the person you honour determines where you end up. The person or people that you honour determine where you end up. Let me say that one more time because I want you to grasp this. The person or people you honour in your life determine where you end up. You know, you could be a traffic light and the traffic light could be bright red and the traffic light could say stop. You can't go any further. You know, and if you break, if you go go at a red light, that's breaking the law. In the United Kingdom, if you do that enough times, you can actually lose your driving license, lose your ability to drive if you continue to go when the sign says stop. But how many of you know that if there's a traffic officer and the traffic officer's there and the traffic officer signals for you to go, then there's no crime committed. And you've done nothing wrong by going when the sign said stop. And uh, I've found that if you have the right person in your life, all of the signs could say stop. All of the signs could say, you can't prosper, you can't make it, you can't receive your healing, you can't walk in abundance, you can't have a ministry. The signs of your family, the signs of your circumstances, the signs of your income, the signs of everything around you could be saying, stop, you can't do it, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not wealthy enough, you're not anointed enough, you're not clever enough. But all it takes, listen to me, all it takes is one person with the right authority to say, go. And you can go and you can walk into your dream and you can walk into your destiny and you can walk into everything God has for you. And I tell you, that's a, a wisdom principle for today. Listen very carefully. One man can override every sign in the universe if you just honor that one man. I mean, that's powerful, isn't it? I mean, you've got to realize that, that Jesus, if you honor Jesus, he can bring life into the dead of your, your situation. You know, all the signs for Mary and Martha were stop. You can't have your brother back. He's dead. He's been dead for days. He stinks. He's mummified. He's in the tomb. The stone's in the way. He's never coming out. You've lost your brother. But one man said, Lazarus, come forth. And he came forth. You know, you look at Timothy's life. Timothy was a timid man. He was scared of confrontation. He didn't like dealing with people. He loved the scriptures. Just wish he could stay in a room and just read the Bible. But didn't particularly much like dealing with people. He had some very difficult elders in his church. But you know, Paul wrote to him. And Paul invested in him. And he honored Paul. And that power of Paul transferred into him. Paul says, a gift was imparted to you. And Timothy ended up pastoring a church of 100,000 people, according to most scholars. And so it, it matters who you honor. It matters who you invest your life to. It matters who you listen to. In 1998, I heard a young Texan preacher called Andrew Womack. Back then, he wasn't on TV. Back then, all he was doing was, was teaching the word and giving away free cassette tapes. And I got some of those free cassette tapes. But what he said... What he said was life-changing for me, that our spirits are completely transformed by the new birth, that we have to renew our mind, that God wants us well, that God wants us wealthy, that we're not to limit God, that we're not, we need to harness our emotions, that we need to develop an attitude of excellence in everything we do. What he said transformed me, and then I watched him live it. You know, I've seen these preachers fly into these meetings and fly out of those meetings. They never touch a human being. They never shake a single hand. But Andrew, in that meeting, there was over 2,000 people that first time I saw him. And he was shaking everyone's hand. He was saying hello. He was investing in people. He helped me put my baby in a pushchair. <laughs> my baby's taller than me now. And he helped me put my baby in a pushchair all those years ago. And he, uh, Amanda asked him some questions. And he chose the right tapes, cassette tapes, and gave them to her for free. And I said, Lord, I want to be like that. And so immediately we started partnering. We've been partners for 20 years nearly. Immediately we started giving. And you know, guess what? That same anointing to build, to teach, to increase. This has always been on us. 
because of who we chose to honor. And you know, it's not always easy to honor someone because whenever you honor someone, they'll be attacked. And you'll have to decide whether to be their accuser or whether to keep honoring them. Uh, I was attacked very severely a number of years ago and a lot of lies about me were spread about. And there was two or three young pastors who were really coming to me and saying, mentor me, help me. They were honoring me and the ability to plant churches and build strong churches was coming on them because of that honor. When they saw that attack, they stood back. And when they stood back, guess what? Our churches continued to grow. Our media ministries continued to grow. Everything we do is growing and developing. We've got five churches. We're planting another four at the moment. And you know what? None of those guys who backed off have got anything more than a little handful now. They've never grown. They've never increased. You know, what I've found when my mentors are kicked and my mentors are attacked, I'm thinking of a dear pastor of mine that was a, went through a horrific experience a couple of years ago. I learned more from sticking close to him in the storm on how to handle storms than I've ever learned. And so honor, even in the tough times, because one man of honor can say go, when everything else in your life says red, says stop, says you can't go. And one man can lift you to where you need to be, or one group of people. And so choose who you honor very carefully and honor them. Praise God. I hope this has blessed you today. I know it's blessing me sharing this wisdom. My name is Ben Conway. I pastor Tree of Life Church. This is Start Your Day with Wisdom. And remember, God is on your side. Amen. <laughs>